The exemplar is owned by the government. The access to the exemplar is through Department of Communications, Energy, Natural Resources, and the managers of the exemplar are in tune on the contract. And as they're the people that supply the technology, they're very, very hands-on. This technology or the potential here is for us to overcome those blockages and make the business case for the next leap forward in the internet. It's of that scale of importance, that scale of opportunity, that is the scale of disruptive technology that we are looking to deploy here. It is of global consequence. So we made the investment, the products designed in UCD, built in this case in Cork, which is good a collaboration as any I can imagine, um, a rare one. Uh, <laughs> um, and crucially, we have designed it in a way that I think is appropriate for this next leap forward in a global internet. It is open access. It's open to everyone. We've actually got clearance for finance. We're investing a further five million this year, and we're doing it to bring in Irish universities and other partners to make sure that it actually becomes a research test center of the world, as well as a commercial deployment. The open access is the key, like the minister stated out there. Uh, nowhere in the world, typically what would happen here, one of the biggest uh, uh, carriers in the world, uh, like a Verizon in America or something like that, would come in and they would build an exemplar program or exemplar lab, but it would be closed. It would be proprietary to that carrier and nobody else would get access to it. So by, by having a facility like this that is unique in the world, uh, it's going to become that magnet, will help to create the jobs and transition that economy forward that Ireland needs to create those jobs in the future as we go forward out there. The Exemplar Network for us in EMC is a clear demonstration of government taking real and positive steps towards supporting the Ireland's knowledge economy. It's a clear example of also what can be done of bringing research out into the commercial world from the colleges and universities. We have showcased the network to a number of key EMC executives over the last year and their response has been hugely positive. Now this move up the value chain is extremely important to us in EMC because we're competing with EMC around the world for investment. So this is, a, this is really a very important and, and tangible example of how Ireland is innovating. We have the people in our country and in our organizations to maximize the benefits of what we're investing in here, the infrastructure and the investment. And I will cite just a few data uh, that may not be known to some. The European Framework Programme is running. It is a measure of how good we are against, measured against others. The ICT community in Ireland has already gained over 30% of the entire Irish take from Framework 7. Within that headline piece of information, I should also say that it's 50% ahead of its target, the ICT research community in Ireland. And in the subheading of photonics, three of the 12 Europe-wide projects are led by Irish researchers. People consider teleworking today, you know, people making credit control calls, people maybe uh, doing some uh, outbound tele-sales calls. Yeah, that's not teleworking as where Ireland needs to be. Teleworking has to be real-time environment, has to end up with us having real-time video contact between customers at remote sites and the multinational they're dealing with or even the local company that they're dealing with. So where we see it going forward is that in tune, it's great that the guys have come up with this and it's particularly pleasing that it's an Irish company and John and Tom and the guys have done a great job to see this coming. We're actually going to take it a stage further here for the guys here in Park West in that what you're seeing in there is a, a lab that in multinationals are indeed Irish companies and we ourselves will be testing on that. But what it also allows us to do is put in a high site out here so we can actually bring 4G technology so companies can come to here, can actually test all the way through mobile applications, whatever they want, at 4G. We have, a, we have a network across the island of Ireland that has 
um, almost 10,000 kilometres of, of fibre. Um, and anything and any technology that allows us to get a better return on that investment for our customers is a good thing. Um, secondly, what we've been able to do is engage our global research and development team. Um, BT would spend 1.5 billion per annum um, on research and development in networks, and we've been able to engage that team, bring them over, let them see what we're doing here in Ireland, and potentially put on the table for them the use of Ireland as a test bed for this type of technology um, in, in the BT global context. And we operate a global network out of Ireland that connects Ireland to 173 other countries. Incheon brought their technology to the main street in Dingle. Snow Patrol are in a church and they are playing for 70 people across the road in Benner's Hotel. Using this technology, there are people, young people, who now access their material on handheld devices, looking at iPhones or whatever device that they had and saying, wow, look at this picture. The minister would not have been happy to be looking at himself on such a high-res picture. It was so beautiful and so wonderful, and it worked. And this was the first outing for this technology. This is a fantastic example of an open access, collaborative invention in Ireland. We are very ambitious for Ireland in IBM in Ireland. Our jobs depend on it. We have an incentive. Bringing IBM research to Ireland in its 100th year, this is the 100th year of our company, uh, was a key thing for us. It's a huge vote for IBM to put a research organisation in any country. We can count the number of research labs and organisations in IBM on two hands. We have one and we will grow to several hundred people here in Ireland over the next few years. We will be using the exemplar. A year ago, we discovered the Exemplar Initiative at government level. This has been hugely beneficial for us in, in, I suppose, three ways, fundamentally. The first is that one of the USPs we're trying to deliver on is low latency networks. We can do that to some degree by virtue of the network length that we're building out. The other part of that piece, or that piece of that jigsaw, is what Intune networks can deliver. And based upon our research, it's something that's completely uh, unique and innovative within the optical switching environment. Um, to see the government actually take the initiative and to make the investment shows the seriousness and gives great credibility to Ireland becoming a digital economy. Uh, I was in here a number of times with John Dunn to see the power of the future at work here. And it is, it does make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. You know, we can get lost in technology talk. There's a heartbeat and a real life aspect to this that is about developing content and making sure that when Smock Alley Theatre opens, that people are a part of it, people own it, and that people can engage in, in, in the story that we're, we're telling.